Hi everyone! So on today's episode, we are going to be making this yummy banga soup. Have you ever tried banga soup before? This is a new recipe. So the first thing we need to do, we are going to turn on our gas and we are going to steam some of the proteins we are going to use. I'll be using beef and omo for this recipe. Add our salt, just spice it to your taste and I'll add little water. And then I'll start by prepping my already boiled palm nuts. After pounding and make sure it has gotten out of the shell. So these are the catfish I'm going to be using for this particular video. And then I'll add my hot water to these palm nuts. This water is half like almost boiled so i'm going to add it so that the oil from the the oil can come out very well and i'm going to leave this to cool down a bit i'll stir with my spatula at this point you can see the oil is floating on top so i'll set this aside I'll be using this um, balletete leaf, it was dried so I've soaked it, also this um, spice, I'll be using this fish, this stock fish and dried catfish. I'll sieve my palm nut water to avoid chaffs and debris from entering inside. I'll do this twice to make sure I extract all the water. After that, I will turn it into a clean pot and I will allow this to boil very well. I will add my beef and omo. I just remember that the omo is not properly cooked and is still strong, likewise the meat. So I am going to put it inside so it can boil together. Put in your pepper and allow to boil. It's over 2 minutes and I'm going to add my banga spice. I can't remember the name of this spice but I'll, do, I'll add it in the description once I remember the name. I'll stir this and I'll allow to boil. It's over 10 minutes and I added my banga stick. You can see it's floating on top. I'll still allow this to boil for some time till the oil starts floating on top but before that i'll add my fish and other proteins i'll be using for this soup it's been over 15 minutes and as we can see the water has dried down very well so i'll add my crayfish inside I'll add my seasoning and at this point you have to add everything first all the seasonings you're going to be using before you start adding your catfish after making sure the taste is okay I added my catfish I'm making banga soup and banga stew so I'm sharing one catfish for the two so for this soup i'll be using just three sorry four catfish four parts of catfish while the rest will go for the stew Yo, at this point you don't need to stir roughly i added my isam my periwinkle that has been brought out and my belletete leaf and all you need to do is just stir very lightly and I added more crayfish because I wanted more taste. I wanted more of that taste. But if you're using a wider pot, what you can do is just to scoop out the soup liquid and pour it on the catfish. That way you don't need to stir the way I'm stirring. I 
After making sure everything is set, leave it for 5 minutes and you turn off the heat. You can serve this with any swallow of your choice. Thanks for watching Debbie Diary. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!